Hello everyone. This is a response to the video that Lead Farmer did this afternoon or this morning on YouTube. This is Aqualos Gardening. Right here, these are peas. I just put some peas in here and underneath here. You're going to see some little, um, can you see that? Those are pumpkins or watermelons. If you look over here, I did it twice. I cover it completely because of cats. And under here, look how big those are. Those are either pumpkins or squash. Say hi, Mario. You want to be in the spring so bad. I have passion for gardening. And I love gardening. So right here is my wild garden. This is um, horse weed or evening prime rolls. These are my wild lettuces. I'm waiting on them to go to seed so that I can make me a tincture or something of that magnitude. I am a new gardener. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. My family is here in the city of Chicago. We are not sharecroppers or anything like that. I have any idea what it is to garden, but I am trying right now. These are corn it might not look like corn maybe it's corn i have no clue i dug all this out and me and my youngest came out here and we planted some corn i am assuming this is corn this is my second year but you cannot be nor i cannot be an expert in two years thank you so right here right here i have grabbed one of those value packs from family dollar or the dollar tree as you can see, this is dinosaur cow. And it's also something that went to seed. This can, and this look right here looks like some Russian cow. I hope I'm not in the picture. From a, a family, a pack from the Dollar Tree that was one buck. And I don't know what that is. I don't pretend to know everything because like I said, I am a new gardener. But gardening saved my life. This garden right here has went to total dismay. Right back there is all of my winter gardening. So I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna um, go through and clear everything up. A lot of old containers and things like that. But if you look really close to this, you're gonna see something amazing. This is oregano. You see them flowers? medicinal and delicious and as well as what lead farmer said you have to grow things that are not babies right and as you can see this is oregano okay i have been out here several times collecting this oregano i use this oregano in my scramble eggs in the morning i make tinctures out of this oregano and also, I do like a vinegar spray with this oregano. And this oregano comes back and I have to do absolutely nothing. This is my tomato bed. You're gonna see some weeds in here, but you're also gonna see some tomatoes. I just threw seeds out here. I have a busy schedule. I have children, I have things I have to do with my life. I can't sit in the backyard all day and pull out whatever this is, but we know what this is this is a tomato plant and last but not least this is my guji berry inside of this makeshift greenhouse that i have that is completely overgrown with raspberries a tree an apple tree that i planted from seed which i have no idea what that's going to turn into a whole bunch of other stuff that's growing out here that i have no idea what it is but probably some weeds and trees now, if you look here, these are my containers. Here is goji berries. I got these goji berries from Sam's Club. This, it's not goji berry. This is some type of a weed that loves to just crawl on everything. So once a week, I'll come out here on Saturday and I just sit in my greenhouse and I pull that off. But I love the goji berries and the berries are there. I can sit back here in my greenhouse, put my little hammock out here, lay down and eat like I think I am rich. <laughs> but i'm not rich i'm poor but if you look closely down here 
You see all this is foolishness. You know, Mother Nature going to cover up things no matter what. But this green stem right there is a blueberry. All I ever wanted was to plant and grow and eat a blueberry. Raspberry comes without any work. Now, if you look over here, it was two blueberries in a package. That one dead. She gone. Back here, I got some blackberries from Menards. I hope she comes back, but it's looking good. But it's not looking good. Don't tell her I said that. Right here is my pride and joy. You see the little babies right here? If you ever want to see a leprechaun, you ever want to sit in your house and enjoy yourself and have complete and total peace, they call this Daisy Wolf Bang. That's my baby right there. And if you look down below her, I will be gathering her up and throwing her into some vinegar or whatever and making me a nice little tincture for her. But look at this person here. Look at this. This is Burdock, and she grows wild all over the city of Illinois, the state of Illinois, or the city of Chicago. I can't wait to make me a tincture out of her. But again, thank you so much to every YouTuber out here that decided to put their stuff on the internet because we need you. Don't you leave us. You guys have a wonderful, great, prosperous day, and I'll see you in the next video.